All right, guys, so here is the steel bumper. It's the Mopar version for the Rubicon. Um, I thought it would just be a nice way to keep things mostly stock, but uh, upgrade to a three-piece bumper. That also gives me the ability to install a winch if I would like to. Sinks pretty darn heavy. I didn't put it on the scale, but I will try to before I stick it on the Jeep. But uh, I'm gonna start with the install, bunch of bolts to undo, and we'll see how difficult this is. I don't believe it's that tough, but famous last words. So we'll see how that goes. So let's get started. Tools you'll need, a flathead screwdriver, eight millimeter socket, an 18 millimeter deep socket, a 16 millimeter socket, and a ratchet with extension. If you have an air ratchet, that's probably better, but you can't really reach the middle bolts with that because it's pretty tight in there. 36 and 7 sixteenths. All right, taking a look at the pins under here. So we've got these push pins, and I think I just need a flathead screwdriver to pop those down. And it looks like there's eight of them all along the front here, and that'll get this uh, shield off. Couple screws, one there. Screw here and then one more on that side right there. Eight millimeter socket. Got some rock souvenirs. In here. So you want to pull your little tab here that holds the fog light into the frame. I pulled that and then you squeeze this button right here and then pull back on this part and it separates the fog light. And now we have, you can see the two big 18 millimeter bolts there. There's two more right there. And then there's obviously matching ones on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and take those off. All right. So I broke them loose with this. And I know you guys have told me over the years I need a, I need an air ratchet. I don't have one. So I'm stuck with caveman tools. But anyway, so I loosened that up. So from here, basically, we're looking at a lot of ratcheting. Um, breaking them loose with the uh, little bit bigger ratchet that I had and then loosening them all up. It took a while, there's eight of them, take your time. And that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, those four bolts are now off. On to the next. Here we have two more push pins on the top in between the bumper and the uh, grill. Just got to pop those up like you did the other ones. There we go, just had to really pull. <laughs> For some reason hanging up on that left side. So here you can just see the four mounting bolts on each side, pretty straightforward. Just kind of mounts in there. Here's a better look at the plug for the fog lights. And we have that same plug on the new bumper. So it should just go right back on just like the other one came off. As you saw with trying to get the bumper off, this uh, would be the 
passenger side, left side of the vehicle was a pain again. <clears throat> I'm not really sure. Um, just took a while to really force it on there on that left hand side, but uh, eventually got it on. And as you see here, I had a little bit of a mishap where I was putting the bumper on one side and it slipped and then <laughs> it hit the bolts and they uh, went flying everywhere. It was lovely. So as you saw there, for some reason, the other side, just like it was kind of a pain to get off, it was fighting me a little bit. So I got one of the nuts on, tightened it a little bit, and then was able to finally push up and past the thread. So now I just need to tighten everything up. Alrighty, so we got the eight bolts snug down. Exactly the same. All right guys, so there you go. There's the bumper installed. Honestly, not a whole lot to it. Just removing that plastic uh, splash guard underneath, eight push pins, two screws. Um, the hardest part really is getting to the eight bolts underneath here. If you had a air ratchet or some kind of other ratchet like that would be much easier than doing a hand ratchet, but it does work. Just takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit cramped. You definitely need an extension for the outsides, the insides. You cannot really use an extension and there's not enough room. Um, but I think the bumper looks great. One thing I didn't even think about when I got it was that the plastic shield does not go back on here. It will not mount. So the part that mounts to these two bolts I just took off, that's the part that the bottom of the plastic shield mounts to. Um, but I think it looks great. Uh, I like how the red kind of captures the red and the Arizona flag. and. Now I have a nice uh, steel bumper, have the ability to do a stubby bumper if I want to take the end caps off. Um, still have my LED lights like I had stock with the Willis and uh, have a place to mount a winch as well down the road. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. Happy to answer them. See you next time.